This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Welcome to yet another lamb basting of a Watch Mojo guitar related list. You'd think they would stop after the first, second, third, or fourth rebuttal from guitar players saying, wow, these people really don't know what they're talking about when it comes to guitars. But just because you don't know much about the guitar doesn't mean you can't have an opinion about it, right? Isn't that how? The world works. You don't know anything about something, yet have an opinion about it. Yes, of course, that's the beauty of this world we live in today. So welcome to the top 10 guitar models of all time, according to people who probably don't play the guitar, but are very, very good at Googling. And here's the thing about Watch Mojo lists, and I don't hate them. I actually love them. They've provided us with plenty of entertainment over the months and years, and I think that Basically, when it comes down to it, their lists are like 60% correct. But the 40% that is incorrect basically reveals their lack of aptitude when it comes to the guitar in particular. I'm not commenting on any other of their subjects. When it comes to the guitar, there's just a little bit of a knowledge gap. Anyway, hopefully we can fill those in. I have my own top 10 guitar models of all time, and I think that I might have some on my list that are not on this list. So we're gonna go from 10 to one, see what they've got in store for us, and without further ado, the top 10 guitar models of all time, according to non-guitar players. They may just be six strings and a chunk of wood, but in the- Hey, don't be talking about my guitars like that. We're counting down our picks for the top 10 guitar models of all time. <laughs> I like how they were doing like uh, the Thunderstruck view, but they were playing under the bridge. That was a nice little transition there. We're looking at a selection of guitars based on iconic or groundbreaking designs, general musicality, and enduring popularity with amateurs and pros alike. Mm, okay, so those are the parameters. Let's keep those in mind as we continue forward. There it is. Excalibur. Wow. Who would make a joke about Wayne's World and Stairway to Heaven? Like, who would do that? Number 10, Gibson Explorer. Gibson Explorer? No. I'm just going to say no. I think I can name two people who played the Gibson Explorer of note, James Hetfield and apparently The Edge. Here's the thing, without knowing the rest of their list, I'm just going to go out on a limb and say this one doesn't belong. As a top 10 model of guitar ever. I mean, I know there's going to be other Gibsons on this list, so I'm basically speculating that this is one Gibson model that would probably be outweighed by a different model that they most likely will not include. I would honestly put a Firebird above an Explorer, but that's just me. Let's move on. I'm not, I'm not throwing Watch Mojo under the bus quite yet. I'm like a friend, you know, it's kind of like somebody you can tell your secrets to or something. Number nine, Ibanez Gem. Okay, Watch Mojo went back up in the uh, in the guitar book. This is a good pick. I think this one might represent all virtuoso signature guitars, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is the only non-Fender or Gibson or maybe one of the older guitar brands. This is probably going to represent the modern guitar player. Out of all the signature guitars in that realm, the gem is far and away the uh, most iconic. Good pick here. Number nine also seems appropriate if we're going by historical contexts and uh, who doesn't love Steve Vai? Vai is really responsible for a lot of Ibanez's success because of the RG series. I know when I was in high school, the Ibanez RG was like the guitar to get. It didn't necessarily have too many points like certain guitar brands, Dean or BC Rich, might turn off some people. The Ibanez, and still to this day, they just had this sleekness to them that isn't over the top, but it's also not standard, so. Yeah, I, I really like Ibanez guitars, and I actually don't even own one, which is a travesty. I'm gonna have to change that. Number eight, Gibson Flying V. Why are they, why do they have Hendrix playing it? The world of the 1950s just wasn't ready for this heavy hitting humbucker equipped rocker. Heavy hitting humbucker equipped rocker. Albert King, uh, Hendrix, you know, off and on, I wouldn't, say he's a Flying V guitar player. Um, every metal guitar player ever has played a Flying V, and yet none of them have. I don't know, it's sort of like, reminds me of a live instrument. It's more about the spectacle than the actual model itself. But maybe that's part of what this list is. It's about the recognition. I think maybe the funniest thing about the Flying V is it's the only guitar that I know has been reversed 
And I mean that quite literally, the body was reversed. I don't even know if this was like a marketing ploy or a joke or the Flying V again, I, I would certainly put this up above an Explorer as far as the top 10 model of all time. I guess it fit. I would put this number 10 with the potential of it being pushed out as well. But let's move on. I'm still reserving my judgment. Number seven, Rickenbacker 300 series. Really? Rickenbacker? I know the history of Rickenbacker and it's sort of like a popular guitar with indie bands these days. Like, ah, look at this vintage retro piece of kit. <laughs> but top 10 model of all time, a Rickenbacker. Could you recognize a Rickenbacker 300 series from any other Rickenbacker? I don't think you could. That eliminates it from this list completely. Historically, sure, it has its place, but if some kid's buying a guitar today, he's not gonna be like, man, you know what I really want? That Rickenbacker 300 series. Honestly, when it comes to Rickenbacker, I think more of a bass than a guitar. I don't think of the Beatles. I think of an Epiphone viola bass when I think of the Beatles. Honestly, if you wanted to go in this direction for like the retro historic vibe, I wouldn't go Rickenbacker, I'd go Dan Electro. Number six, Gibson SG. All right, now we're uh, getting into some heavy hitters. Obviously deserves a place on the top 10 guitar models of all time list. Intended as a replacement for the slow selling Gibson Les Paul. All right, so you can tell somebody doesn't necessarily know what they're talking about when it comes to guitar when they call it a Les Paul. Like a, a Les Paul, Gibson Les Paul. I can think of Tony Iommi, Angus Young, Eric Clapton had his SG, there's Pete Townsend, or like Sister Rosetta even. Countless modern players play SGs. The funny thing is I was kind of out on SGs for a while. I never really had uh, one that spoke to me and then I got one a couple years back and they just have this certain aesthetic, this certain feel in your hand that no other guitar has, in my opinion. I played a lot of different guitars. The SG just feels a certain way, and some people gravitate towards that feeling, and some people do not. I honestly think it's one of the coolest looking guitars for sure, and definitely instantly recognizable, and played by some of the greatest guitar players to ever walk the earth. So it's a 100% fact that the Gibson SG should be a top 10 guitar model of all time. Hey guys, quick break to talk about the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. As I've been reviewing these guitars and doing little bits of research here and there, I've started to notice there's a potential for ads. I type in vintage Fender Strat and then two days later I'm browsing on the internet for something completely different and there are these Fender Strat advertisements blowing up my feed. That's pretty creepy, all those sketchy guitar builders tracking what I'm looking at, trying to take advantage of my weakness that is guitar buying. That's just cruel. Luckily, NordVPN has my back. NordVPN is offering you a huge discount on a two-year plan. All you have to do is go to nordvpn.com slash musicaswin and when you use the code music is when you get an additional bonus. That's great. That's only for you guys, only for my viewers. With Nord, you're protected from marketers, so your IP is safe and your browsing is kept anonymous. There's a strict no logs policy, which means NordVPN doesn't track, collect, or share your private data. It's none of their business, and they know that. You can also use NordVPN on multiple devices. One account lets you connect up to six devices. I have a computer, I have an iPhone, I have a tablet. I can use NordVPN on all of those and be protected from those advertisers. So right now, take control of your guitar browsing experience and your internet. Go to nordvpn.com slash musicaswin for a great deal on a two-year plan and make sure to use the code musicaswin to get an additional bonus. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Now, back to the top 10 guitar models of all time. We're getting a little interesting now. Number five, Gretsch 6120. Come on, man. A Gretsch in the top 10 models of all time? I, Gretsch is like, you know, it's, it's too boutique for this list. I get it's old, but it's a very small pocket of people. Here's the thing about Gretsch. I feel like everyone who sees a Gretsch in like a guitar store, or sees somebody playing, be like, that's a freaking cool guitar. I would love to, but nobody actually gets a Gretsch. <laughs> and that's nothing against Gretsch. If you have a Gretsch, I'm not attacking you. They're great guitars, I've played them. I own a Gretsch Resonator, in fact. But you have to admit, top 10 guitar model of all time, a 6120, I don't, again, 
pick a Gretsch 6120 out of a line of a bunch of other Gretches. Most people wouldn't be able to like you would, hey, pick out a Gibson SG out of a line of Gibson models. So that is sort of what I'm realizing I am basing a lot of my opinions on is, is the guitar recognizable? Is the guitar played by iconic musicians throughout time. I mean, it looks like Chet Atkins is the main Gretsch 6120 user. Not knowing how the list is ending, but this is already number five. I have a feeling we're not gonna have any Epiphones on this model list. And here's a guitar that you could replace this Gretsch with. It is a beautiful Epiphone, and I always notice this vine here. This vine is super recognizable to me. Epiphone and timeless brand. A lot of people like Epiphone more than Gibson. And something like this, even like a casino or anything in that range, I think is more iconic and famous than a Gretsch is. Although the Gretsch paved the way, I recognize that historical context. This guitar is something that people would target over a Gretsch, in my opinion. Number four, Gibson ES-335. Uh, I'll, I'll allow this. Yes, absolutely. Chuck Berry, B.B. King, uh, just to name a few. I mean, players today, Dave Grohl, I associate him with the 335, and just countless guitarists. Again, this guitar, you know, it's got the hollow body thing going on. You could really eliminate that Gretsch or the Epiphone and put a different guitar in that number five spot. Basically, this is representing the arch top guitar, which is like basically the first electric guitar or acoustic guitar for that matter. You think about D'Angelico and those guitar builders, I think that, you know, the ES-335, it has the blues piece, but it also has the history. There's really only room for one hollow body guitar in the top 10 guitar models of all time, in my opinion. I just think there's so many other ones that are more important, uh, but definitely the Gibson 335. And is this the fourth Gibson so far? Number three. Fender Telecaster. There it is. First Fender of the list at number three, the Telecaster. I'm not a huge fan of the way Telecasters look, but their sound is lovely. I've always liked the necks on Telecasters. And I think the coolest part about a Telecaster is the way it makes you play. And there's certain guitar models that make you play in ways that you don't necessarily play when you pick up your go-to guitar, for example, if it's not a Tele. Uh, it just kind of inspires something in you. And that's what I think is important on this guitar model list is when you pick up a guitar and you feel a sense of history, that means that guitar is worthy of being a top model. And the thing about the Telecaster is it's been played by iconic rock stars throughout history, and it's also a workhorse in music studios. You know, you wouldn't realize how many times a Telecaster has been used for guitar parts that you would never guess would be calling for a Telecaster. It's just a very versatile instrument, depending on the humbucker or single coil combination you have in there. It can sound like anything you want it to. And of course, it has its very own identifiable sound, more so than any guitar on this list so far. The Tele has that spanky, twangy, plucky sound, but it also can get really heavy if you go into a rock context. It's just an awesome guitar. And actually, I'm about to buy a Telecaster because I have a Sur, I have a Paletti, I have a couple more inexpensive Telecaster style guitars, but I do not have a Fender, and that is what I am going to target on my next excursion out into the world. So stay tuned for that video. But yes, number three, the Fender Telecaster, top 10 guitar model of all time. Number three seems appropriate. Number two, Fender Stratocaster. <laughs> yeah, that's that Fender Strat sound. Uh, number two. So that means number one is gonna be the Gibson Les Paul. Uh, I don't even really have to go forward in that just to know. So that would make it five Gibsons on this list. Um, before I get to my thoughts on that, the Strat, obviously, I would say out of all the Fender guitars, I love the Strat the most. It's not even a debate that the Strat should be on this list. A lot of people may argue it should be the number one spot over the Les Paul. I actually agree with the Les Paul being number one. I'll tell you why in a moment. But as far as the Strat goes, Steve Ray Vaughan, Jimi Hendrix, Jeff Beck, Eric Clapton. Do you need any more proof that the Strat is a great guitar and a highly, highly famous, iconic looking guitar? The iMessage emoji for a guitar is a Strat. The number two guitar model of all time, 
Sure. There's the Les Paul. Gibson Les Paul. <laughs> I mean, excuse me, the Les Paul. So the thing about the Les Paul, I definitely believe that it is the most famous guitar model of all time. And that's only for the fact that I think if you shoot it out against a Strat, it has just a little bit more rock and roll edge. And when you think of historical context for music, and rock and roll in particular, the guitar, you think of a guitar hero, you think of Slash, you think of Jimmy Page, you think of these people holding this single cut guitar and it has the very specific burst, you know, that color and model guitar I think is the most recognizable, instills a bit of butterflies in people who see somebody playing it, they're just like, ooh, that's, that's a rock god up there holding that instrument. You might not get that with your pretty little pink Stratocaster or your little butterscotch tellies. Gibson Les Paul, man, can't f with that. It's got swagger and it's a single cut guitar. So single cuts are better than double cuts, everybody knows that. But I have to take issue with this list. There are some glaring omissions. There's a particular guitar brand that is not represented on this list, and I know for a fact it is one of the most popular guitar brands in the world right now, if not the most popular. Easily the most notable, I would say. You guys, you guys with me on, on which brand guitar isn't on here that's been around for quite a bit of time, almost 40 years. Uh, let's see, what could it be? Ah yes, a PRS. I would probably say a PRS could fit right in the middle of the list, maybe number five where that Gretsch was. Honestly, if it's up to me, I would put a Custom 24. This is the most versatile guitar in my collection. It has a split coil, it has great sounding humbuckers, and the access of the neck is just wonderful. It plays perfectly, it's always in tune. That's the thing about PRS guitars that this list is missing. It doesn't have any practical modern guitars other than the gem, but that's really kind of like a almost a gimmicky kind of pick for this list. When it comes to a top 10 guitar model, you can't not have a PRS guitar on that list. That's just, it invalidates the whole list. And obviously you guys know that I have a great relationship with the people at PRS, but this is not a defense of them. This is just a fact. Everybody in their right mind would put a PRS on a top 10 guitar models list. And there's probably other guitar brands that are missing too. Leave a comment. What do you think should be included on this list? Which ones do you think maybe got too much recognition by the good people at Watch Mojo? Check out NordVPN if you don't want to see a bunch of ads for guitars blowing up your news feeds. I know myself, that's, that's my weakness. Advertisements for guitars. So, until next time.